Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an early access preview to Windows 11 23H2. I've done a video a few days ago in which I showcased all the new features that we may expect in Windows 11 23H2. And a lot of you asked me, well, how can you get access to that? And I'm sure that a lot of you didn't watch the channel before. So I'm going to show you the beginner's guide to previewing Windows 11 23H2 if you're interested in that. From the beginning, I have to say that Windows 11 23H2 in its current state in the development process Process is very very unstable so it's not recommended installing it on a main computer a computer that you use for work for school or something like that it is recommended to install it on a second computer for example a laptop that you are not using daily or a virtual machine and of course you have to keep that in mind Windows 11 23h2 right now because it is not released officially is not very very stable so you could encounter bugs and stuff like that if you install it on your main computer so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, if you have Windows 11 currently on your system, the first method will allow you to preview Windows 11 23H2. All you need to do is to go inside the settings app and in the settings app, go to Windows Update on the right side and you have here at the bottom Windows Insider program. You can basically get preview builds of Windows to share feedback on new features and updates. The great news is that Microsoft listens to their users and a lot of new features that will be added in 20 H2 are features that were highly requested by users. I can give you an example, the never combine taskbar icons and labels. Now we go into Windows Insider program and in the Windows Insider program, you're going to have to sign in with a Microsoft account. And here you're going to go through a very simple process in which you're going to have to select at the end, the insider channel that you want to go into. As you can see, there are four different channels, but the only channels that preview features from 23H2 are the Canary channel, the dev channel, and the beta channel. If you want the most features from Windows 11 23H2, you can join the dev channel, but interestingly enough, the dev channel doesn't have the 23H2 label. Right now, officially from Microsoft, the latest builds, only the Canary channel builds and the beta channel builds have the 23H2 labels. If you ask me, if you want a more stable version of Windows 11 23H2 right now, you can go inside the beta channel, but you won't have all the new features. Inside the dev channel, you're gonna have all the new features from 23H2, but it is more unstable than the beta channel, and the Canary channel is even more unstable than the dev channel. I can give you an example. One of the previous builds from the Canary channel, which introduced the version 23H2, wasn't offered to Asus laptops because it had some compatibility issues and some bugs that were related to Asus motherboards. So this is a first method that you can use to test out builds. But as I said, it is not recommended to do this on your main computer. Right now, I'm on a laptop, which I use to record these videos, and I use on this machine the dev channel but i have a separate os for every dev channel build i have them in quadruple boot if i can use this word but from what i can tell you for sure the beta channel is the most recommended one as you can see here and also the most stable one between these three channels that preview windows 11 23h2 so of course you need to choose whether you want the canary the dev or the beta read the description as well you can watch previous videos that i've done to see how those channels work and of course you can preview windows 11 23h2 earlier than the official release and of course after you select the insider channel that you want to join you're gonna have to restart your computer and then go again into windows update and the new build that is related to the channel that you've joined will be offered through windows update and you're gonna be able to install it a second method that you can use to test out windows 11 23h2 is to install it on a virtual machine not on a main computer i'm not gonna show you how to install a virtual machine and stuff like that uh, you can watch other videos for that but of course for a virtual machine you're gonna need an ISO and Microsoft offers Windows Insider preview ISOs that you can use to create virtual machines you're gonna have to go into this page for Microsoft you're gonna have this page in the article below in the video's description and you're gonna have to log in to your Microsoft account to be able to have access to the official ISOs for Microsoft here you're gonna have to select the edition and as you can see it says the build and also the channel and you have here the latest builds from the canary dev and beta channel so as an example if you want to get the dev channel build the latest one the can confirm you're gonna have to select the product language for example English United States and as easy as that Microsoft will 
offer you the ISO test it out on a computer or on a virtual machine. So these are pretty much the official ways to test out Windows 11 23H2. Of course, if you have any questions, any things that you do not know, feel free to leave a comment below. I will gladly answer your comment. Don't forget that in the article below in the video description, the first link, you're going to have all the info you need in addition to this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.